Hello, I'm Marcelo, and on this tutorial we will learn about YPath orchestrator alerts. So let's get started. So the alerts on orchestrator are like notifications, and the alerts can be raised automatically by orchestrator in certain situations, and also raised from one of our automation projects. So this will be a custom alert. So how we can see the alerts? One way it's here on the top, we can see here this icon. And from here we can see the alerts raised. And to see all the alerts, we can click here on see all alerts. And we can see that we navigate to the alerts page that it's on the tenant level. So here we can see that we have some alerts so these ones are automatically generated by YPath orchestrator. So here we can see an error one, so that the robot, that basically our, my machine became unresponsive. That probably was because I just turned it off the machine. Then here we can see also um, alerts about jobs because we got the faulted job two times on the file validator process. So here we can see also the time when it happened. So if you over, we can see the date and time. Also here severity, so the type, the severity of the alert, if it's information, error, warn, and so on. Also we can filter here the severity, as we can see, to see only error uh, alerts, for example. And also we can filter by component, so let's imagine that we want to see only alerts about jobs. And now we can filter by time, like last week or all. And now state are uh, only the unread, read or all alerts. So let's leave unread, it's better. And then also uh, we can mark them as read. So for example, if we click here, we are marking the alert as read. So now if you refresh, they will disappear because here we are filtering by unread alerts. Also, we can get details, for example, uh, on this alert. If we click here on this icon, we can get details. So here we can see that we are looking to the details of the faulted job. And here we can see the details about why the job failed. Then here we can see the alert source. So we navigate directly to the job that got faulted. So let's go back. And so uh, not only we can see the alerts here on Oxstator, but also we can receive emails when it's raised an alert. So to receive the emails for alerts, make sure on settings at the mail page, you have here enable alerts email and have the option use default settings. So if you have here this configuration and make sure you save it, then if you access your mail, you'll notice that you'll receive uh, sometimes uh, emails from YPath orchestrator when there is a new alert. So for example, on this email, here we can see an alert. So it was severity error. And here we can see the event. So it was because the robot became unresponsive. And then here we can see other alerts. So this is about the faulted jobs. So basically we can be aware of alerts from orchestrator and else from mails. Then else it's possible to set our alert preferences. So basically define on each type of alerts automatically generated by YPAD orchestrator, we want to be alerted, we want to be aware. So if we go here to this button and click here on this button, we'll open the alert preferences. So basically here we can see that we are subscribing all the alerts types that are generated automatically by YPAD orchestrator. So here we can see that we have alerts about robots, jobs, triggers, queues, and much more. So let's imagine that we don't want to be notified when a robot is available. So we uncheck here this option. 
let's say that we don't want to be notified when the job stuck in pending or resumed. So we will check. Let's say also that we don't want to be notified about triggers. So here basically we set our alert preferences and so we are just notified from what we desire. So now we just have to save and that's it. So now I'll just show how we can raise a custom alert from one of our automations. So let's open Studio Web, create a new project. Let's give the name alerts. And now uh, let's search for the activity raise alert. And basically it allows to create a custom alert on Orchestrator. So first, we have to indicate from where it comes this alert, the folder. Then the notification, so the message of the alert. So here, let's insert, for example, just testing. And now the severity, so information, fatal error, success or warning. So let's leave as information. And now let's run the project. So it already finished. So now let's go back uh, to the tenant. So the alert might take some time to appear. So if it doesn't appear, uh, wait some minutes, for example. And so here we can see the custom alert that we have raised from our project. Also, we can see it from the alerts page. So here we can see the component process. So it was from a process, severity, its information. And here we can see the notification just testing. So it's really simple to raise custom alerts from our projects. And that's it for this tutorial. And if you want to learn more about YPath Orchestrator, I have a course on Udemy that teaches about the platform from the basics to more advanced topics. So we get started by learning the basics like understand what are tenants, folders, machines, robots, and more. And also how we can manage these key components of YPath Orchestrator. As we learn about automations management from publishing and automation to schedule its execution on YPath Orchestrator. As we learn about monitorization, how we can monitor our robots, our automations in different ways. How to use the YPath Orchestrator API and much more. So, if you are interested, you can find on the description of this tutorial the link to the course page so you can check out the details and else if you want, you can enroll on the course. So, that's it and I'll see you on the next tutorial.